Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a front brake job on this 2000 Old Zolero. This is a two-door. Uh, process is the same for any two-door or four-door car. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 12, 13, and 19 millimeter sockets. Uh, obviously, you'll need a ratchet, and you'll need either a breaker bar or a pipe for leverage, large C-clamp, wire brush, and a torque wrench. Start off by removing your hub cap. Uh, if you don't have air tools, you'll want to loosen your lug nuts, then raise and support your vehicle, um, then remove the uh, lug nuts and the wheel. Turn the wheel for easier access to the back of the caliper. Okay, right in behind, your calipers are held on by two 12 millimeter bolts, one there and one there. These should come apart pretty easily. And we'll fast forward here as I remove those bolts the rest of the way. In order to get the uh, caliper off, you might need to reduce some pressure on the brakes. You put your C-clamp right against um, your brake pad there, and then on the caliper there. Turn makes it nice and loose. The caliper comes right off. And for now, you can just put your caliper right up here. And now you can take your pads right out. Okay, you can see that they have wear marks in them. These pads are still in pretty good shape. And then just use your finger. And you kind of run it on the back of your finger on the disc. And if you don't feel any really deep grooves, um, they're probably okay. Okay, to get our disc off, we're going to remove this caliper bracket, which is two bolts here, and then one down here. Okay, these bolts are 13 millimeters, and you're going to want a, uh, like a breaker bar, or use a piece of pipe on a ratchet, because these will be tight. They shouldn't be too bad, though. Okay, and I'll just fast forward as I change over to a um, ratchet and remove those bolts the rest of the way. So that bracket's off, your rotor comes right off. Okay, now I'm going to show you reinstallation. You put the rotor right back on. You can see there that that hub is new. That's actually what this vehicle needed. Needed a new hub. So we figured we'd just do a uh, brake video while we do the hub. You see I put the uh, disc on there and then I put a lug nut on just to hold it in place. Okay, before we put this bracket on, it has stainless steel slides. Use a wire brush and clean these out really well. And the other thing to check before you put this back together is make sure that these slide back and forth in and out very easily. bolts to hold the bracket. You also want to tighten to 65 foot-pounds. Okay, so you can see my old pads are still in pretty good shape. 
Um, this is a wear indicator, this groove right here. And since it's still there, there's still plenty of life left in the pads. Uh, the rear pad, you always want to put, um, there is a uh, tab here, and you always want to put, put that towards the back side as far as the rotation. Now, push the pads in. Okay, since your um, since your piston's already been reset, put that right down. Fit nice and easy. And start these two bolts in. Now these two bolts, you only want to do between 15 and 18 foot pounds. And just speed up here as I uh, use an extension and then tighten that top one up. Speed through here as we straighten that out, remove that lug nut, put the wheel and tire back on, and then we'll just preliminarily tighten those lug nuts um, with our impact wrench and torque them when we get them on the ground. Okay, take the lug nuts between 90 and 100 foot pounds. And last but not least, uh, line up the valve stem with the wheel cover, put it on, and use your 19 millimeter socket just to um, tighten the caps by hand. Okay, last but not least, make sure you pump your brakes a bunch of times, um, and then do a stop from 5 and 10 miles an hour before you road test your vehicle. Make sure everything's working correctly. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.